This is Launching Your Daughter Podcast, and I'm your host, Nicole Burgess, Licensed Marriage and Family Therapist. The information shared in this podcast is not a substitute for seeking help from a licensed mental health professional. Now, here is today's episode. Episode 69. Well, welcome, everybody. Thank you again for joining me for today's episode. Before I begin this episode, I want to remind everybody that I now offer coaching for moms and women. So I invite you to go out to Nicole burgesscoaching.com and that'll take you to how you can find out more information about how to set up an appointment so we can do some coaching whether it's on parenting or kind of closing the gap between where you want to be in your life and where you are now. In today's episode, I'm actually going to discuss family roles and how your teenagers in your life, both daughters and sons, can actually challenge them. But before I get into this, I want to actually share a movie that I recently watched called Tommy's Honor. I get it. It's about guys versus girls. But at the same time, I'm still going to talk about it because I think it is very applicable to what I want to talk about today. It's based on true facts regarding a father, Tom Morris, and his son, Tommy Morris. And it's in the late 1800s over in Scotland. These two men are credited with being pioneers of professional golf. Tom wanted Tommy to take over his business of being the greenskeeper and the club and ball maker when he died. Tommy wanted to really just play golf and challenge not only his family role, but the unwritten rules of the social class during that time. Tommy and his father had various conflicts when his dad attempted to remind Tommy of his role or place in life. Tommy not only changed the professional golfers being paid fairly, but he role modeled not letting prejudiced or old belief systems stop him from loving the woman that he married, Margaret, and doing the things that he wanted to do in his life. He didn't let these things stop him or hold him back. His wife, Margaret, had gotten pregnant out of wedlock and she was banned from her church. And Tommy's mother wanted him to, quote, never see her again when she discovered this information. Tommy actually went against even his mother's advice and that of the towns. Margaret later informed Tommy's mom of some of the missing information, and then the two women actually reconciled uh, the break that they had in their relationship. I also like how Tommy actually stood up for his wife against his uh, parents because it was his life. He was an adult, and he could make those decisions. Towards the end of the movie, Tom, the dad, makes a big decision for his son versus allowing his adult son, Tommy, to make the choice himself, and it had a heartbreaking impact on Tommy. Tommy showed his dad how that we can love through the biases, not live to get other people's approval, and forgive others when they have made mistakes. Part of why I wanted to share this movie today is for... Now, all my parents and caregivers that are out there listening to really pause and explore maybe some of your old, not even old, some of your belief systems about what you want your daughter to be when she grows up. Again, this is a big time in her life where she is evolving and changing and she may kind of, I call it, put on the outfit of some peers where she's like, hey, I'm going to test this kind of personality out for a little bit, or I'm going to try out these characteristics for a little bit to see if I like them. And I know sometimes that can cause parents a lot of distress going, oh my goodness, what is she doing? Why is she acting this way? Um, she's making choices that are really scary. And it's not that I don't want you to talk to her about it. It's just being really mindful of what are your fears? What are your concerns? And making sure that you're not projecting them onto her. So in episode 65, Julie Hanks, you know, briefly mentioned that a family has kind of an identity such as like a sports family. And if your daughter doesn't like sports, right, that may actually create a conflict within the family. Let's say she likes the arts instead, and she wants to continue to embrace, you know, maybe going off to school for uh, becoming a painter or getting an arts degree, whatever that may be. It's really looking at, okay, instead of saying, oh my gosh, no, you can't do that, or how dare you, this is what our family is known for, 
it's allowing her to be that unique individual that she is and for the whole family really just to pause and explore like where did this family believe that this is our identity where these roles are I have to be you know maybe it's the good girl and I'm not allowed to do anything against what my family says or what my parents grandparents have said pause and really explore those. What were the messages that you got growing up? And are those the same messages you're sending to your daughter? And actually, are they helpful? Or are they hurtful? Or do they keep her stuck? Or do they even keep you stuck? So being able just to look at that information and explore it can help the whole family move forward and really challenge where you are at this time of of your life. In episode 49, I discussed how uh, earlier this year, a psychotherapy conference really impacted me and that my hope for parents and caregivers is to stay curious and to seek to understand the teen girls in their, in their life versus dismissing or discouraging them. Again, this is such a big area or big time in your teen girl's life to be able to begin to blossom of who she is, she's going to continue to evolve and to change. And it's reminding her of that too, that just because she's, oh, I don't know, maybe more, she's more reserved or she's uncertain about what she's going to do. It doesn't mean it's going to be that way forever, that we evolve and change as humans if we choose to, and that we're looking to doing things differently or more or exploring our inner world so that we're really confident in who we are. We know our values so that we really base our decisions on those values where we're keeping in a line with those values. I'm just a a big movie lover and I have watched thousands of movies over my lifetime. I know there are other movies that demonstrate, you know, choosing to be different or standing up to challenging the belief um, systems that, you know, out there in the world that they may not make you the most uh, popular person in your family or your community, but it's not letting that fear stop you from doing what you believe in or becoming who you want to be or believe you want to become. So again, parents, I'm going to encourage you to pause and give yourself permission to explore what you think and feel when your teen girl starts to challenge the family or even the societal roles. Stay curious with her and seek to understand why it is important to her. What, you know, for example, what she wants to, to be, whether it's an artist, an engineer, an athlete, whatever it is that she desires. When you walk along beside her, and you own your own fears or worries without projecting or i.e. basically placing them onto her, you guys can help stay a team versus putting that issue in between your relationship. An example I used to give sometimes parents is when the parents fight against themselves and making, let's say finances is the issue. When they put finances in between them, versus putting finances outside of them and maybe it's placing it in front of them where they start to work as a team of where do we get stuck? What do we need to do differently? Let me hear what your, why you believe we need to save more. Let me hear and understand why you want to spend more. Being able to work as a team and putting that issue, the problem outside of the relationship you guys can come together and really brainstorm it differently. So it's the same thing. If your daughter is exploring about, maybe she doesn't want to go to college right after she gets done with high school. Maybe she wants to go tour the world. Maybe she decides she doesn't want to go to college at all. And she actually wants to do a trade school. For some parents, I know that can be extremely scary and that you want the best for your daughter, just as Tom, the dad, wanted the best for his son But when it's, I know them better than they know themselves, it can really get you into trouble. And if the belief is, well, we're not going to be, she can't be anything different than what we are as this family. This is all we're ever going to have. This is all she's ever going to believe. You know, she's not going to get any further. Those are your own beliefs, your own biases. And when you aren't aware of that, that can become the message that you're sending to her, whether directly or indirectly. 
So when you know yourself, when you pause and explore, like, why does this cause me such an issue? Why do I get so frustrated when she makes these choices? You start to understand like, oh, because I was not encouraged as a female to go after my dreams. I was encouraged that I needed to stay in the lines. I was encouraged that if our family, I'm going to pick on sports because I also picked a golf meeting or golf movie. I'm just like, I had to be this, you know, athlete, the sports person and really enjoy it because if I didn't, it would create a conflict with my parents and I didn't want to have that conflict. So if there was also, you were shamed by being different, that's not okay. And that's what you want to break the cycle so that it doesn't continue to the next generation and the next generation. Part of our goal, right, is is to challenge those belief systems, really explore where do they come from? And why is it so important? Do you want her to fill this certain family role versus allow her to really choose her own path? I think in the movie, again, Tommy's Honor, Tommy, the son, did a beautiful job of really challenging that. Again, there was a lot of drinking that was involved in some of this, and I'm not recommending going down that path where you're kind of numbing stuff out or anything, but it's more about having that dialogue. And I know sometimes that can be more challenging for dads and sons to talk about feelings, and I hope we continue to break that mold as well. Because guys, whether you know it or not, I think some of you listening probably do know this, that you're not robots. You have feelings just as females do. And for years, it's not been encouraged for you to be able to share them. And it's extremely important for you to be able to know them and to share them, not just with your partner, but also your daughter and your son. Because when we keep breaking the old societal message that it's not okay to feel or it's not okay to share your feelings, you lose part of yourself. You cut that part out. So then what I'm hearing from the adults that I work with is, oh, I'm I'm wearing this mask and I feel empty inside or I feel disconnected or frustrated or alone because I don't get to share all of me. Because If I share that I am disappointed or I'm frustrated, that may create a conflict and I just want to avoid that. This is the cycle that I'm hoping we continue to break for all of our young women that are coming up in the world, that it's okay for them to be assertive. It's okay for them to have healthy boundaries. It's okay for them to follow their path. And that path doesn't mean it equals easy. We have challenges. Yet when we create plans and we stick to those things and and shift them and change them when needed because of different obstacles, but you're following through with what you believe in, that's how we shift the world from going to fear-based to more of a loving and understanding base. I believe everybody is capable of making a difference, whether that means you do it in a big way or you do it in a... I'm going to say a smaller way where it's, it's more local or even within your own family. When we strive to stay true and authentic to ourselves and we really know ourselves, that does have a ripple effect that does make an impact in our world. So no matter where you are, no matter where your daughter or the teen girl in your life, no matter where she is, pause for a moment, really look at her. Who is she? Where is she wanting to go in her life? And if she's not sure, okay, begin to explore with her. If she's open to that, like, what are some of the things that she likes to do? Whether it's the same as what the family likes or it's not. Help her understand she is unique, she is lovable, and she is enough. That she may have some similar characteristics of both parents, and at the same time, She is who she is, and she doesn't need to be somebody else. I really appreciate you listening today. Again, please go out to NicoleBurgessCoaching.com to find out more about my coaching services, and I really appreciate you tuning in and downloading these episodes, and if you don't know how to download it, you can go out to iTunes and actually, actually subscribe, and you can get it downloaded every week. Thanks again. 
Thank you for listening to Launching Your Daughter with Nicole Burgess, Licensed Marriage and Family Therapist. For more information or to stay up to date, go to launchingyourdaughter.com. You can sign up for my email list or join my Facebook group. Thank you.